G'day, I'm Drew from Gringo Productions, and today we're going to look at how to fix a terrible white balance. So I went out and shot this footage at 2500 Kelvin, and it should have been around about maybe 47, because the sun was going down, so it isn't pure daylight. So there's many different ways to do a white balance. You can do it in the curves, um, you can do it using temperature and tint, but today we're going to be doing it using our highs, mids, and lows. So let's bring up our scope and let's choose waveform let's make it big so looking at our waveform you can see we have a lot of blues in the whites or the high and a lot of blue in the mids we more or less have a lot of red in the blacks so we're going to do this by balancing the white area by using the gain and then we're going to balance the mids by using gamma so I see a lot of people in YouTube when they do a white balance, they tend to concentrate on the gains and lift, and they don't really try to fix the midtones. Now, I believe if you fix the gain and the gamma, then your blacks will more or less fall into place with just a little bit of adjustment. But it's more important to fix these and then do this one last. So let's leave our scopes up and not even look at the image, and let's balance our shot. So let's push some warmth in. And let's try to get these three lines here as close to as possible. Okay. So something like that for now it doesn't have to be perfect just yet because once we make our adjustments in the mids, the gamma, the gain will fall apart a little bit, so I have to come back and correct it anyway. So with our mids, let's try and get this part as even as possible. So that looks pretty good. Because what you're looking for is a white line. That means all the colors have matched or overlapped each other. And as you can see, we're just a little bit off again. So... That looks pretty good. Maybe put a little bit more into the mid-tones. Alrighty. Now our blacks look a little wrong, but once we bring them down, they will fall into place. So bring our scopes up. And we don't want to go below this line here because we'll be crushing our blacks. But if we just bring them down a little bit, maybe just a little bit up. And just put a little bit more warmth in them. That looks pretty good, and a little bit more into the mid-tones, and just a little bit more into the whites. Okay, now let's take away the scope and see what it looks like. Okay, so now we have our image. So before our corrections, we were this blue overcast, and now with our corrections, we have a neutral color. By neutral, I mean our blacks are black and our whites are white. Okay, now that we have our neutral looking grade, let's make some adjustments to put a little bit of life into it. So new node, Alt S, and let's put some contrast into it. We'll do this using the curves. So if we bring our scopes back, we can see that we're quite low. So we don't want to crush them. So let's start around here. And just do a slight curve. And let's go back to our first dot bring down the overall image maybe put it up a little bit more and then let's put some saturation in okay so the image looks quite good except we are still a little bluey green so we need to fix that so let's make a new node so let's look at the area that we need to fix with our qualifier so it's saying here that our midtones are a little bit off, a lower mid-tone, sorry. So, our blacks are pretty good, but just above the blacks are a little bit off. So let's make some adjustments using the curve. So let's find an area that's not right. So as you can see, 35, 49, 61, it's a bit unbalanced. So let's push that red up a little bit. And let's bring that blue down. Oops, and then let's push the green. 
and a little bit too much on the red. So let's take some of the green out and some of the blue out. And let's bring some of that down a little bit. And we're a little bit blue still, just a tiny little bit. So let's find where we are wrong and bring it down ever so slightly. Okay, so in this node, we've gone from this image, which kind of has a greeny blue overcast, to this image which has a nice neutral overcast, a blacks look good, a hair, lack of it looks good, skin tones look really good, and the whole image looks a very nice neutral feel to it. So the thing about the Black Magic Pocket is, it does amazing skin tones. So once you get a nice neutral base, your skin tones will fall into place. So if we want to check that, let's make a new node, Alt S, bring up our power window, and find an area of the skin we want to check. And then using the qualifier, select that area. And then Shift H. And then we'll bring up our scopes. And we'll go down to Vector Scope. And if we make it big, bring it across. As you can see, this line is the skin tone indicator. And we are falling perfectly on it. So by focusing our energy on the gain and the mid-tones and making sure they're correct, lift will generally fall into place. Now you might have to make a few adjustments, but in my opinion, lift is the last thing you should concentrate on. To me, as a colorist, the most important thing to learn is how to balance your shot, because you may get some footage that's almost perfect, but with a little bit of correction for a good white balance and some saturation and contrast, and maybe a couple of vignettes, your footage will look amazing. Learning how to do some stylized teal and orange look is great, but if you're just starting out, I would highly recommend learning how to white balance your shot. So if you look at our shot, we've gone from this image on the right to this image on the left. And it doesn't take a lot of adjustments and it's quite quick, but it's definitely something you should learn. You can download this footage from my website and you can follow along and also practice how to white balance your shot. Anyway, I hope this video has helped you out with any crazy white balance problems you have. Leave a comment below if anything else you would like to see. I've been Drew from Gringo Productions and have a great day.